Hey guys, so uh, since uh, cooldowns are very underrated, I decided, I decided to make a separate video for you guys to actually see uh, that cooldowns are important because it prepares you for your next workout as well. It balances out the load you have given in your exact workout, for example, today. So that's why you can follow up this video. I will go through the most important parts which you need to work on after your workout. So let's get started. We're going to start with external rotation in your shoulder joint. Your rotator cuff is very important and since a lot of things that we do on the pole is pulling and holding and twisted grips, everything is almost everything is internal rotation. So you have to balance it out after every workout, okay? So take a block. If, it, if it's going to be too difficult with a block, you can take the block away and do this onto the floor. And make sure your fingers are open and your elbows onto the floor and your hand is in 90 degree position, okay? Now your elbow maintains into the floor. What you want from this exercise is to actually feel the external rotation in your shoulder joint. So it means you're not working with your palm. If you cannot lift up from the block, with the help of your shoulder joint, take the block away and work onto the floor, okay? So I'm going to do 10, 10 repetitions of this exercise. You can place the head onto your palm, relax your neck here, okay? And you're going to go up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. As you can see, my elbow, my uh, lower part of the arm is right straight with the wrist. So this is what you want to maintain. Now put it into the highest position and we're going to slightly pulse up as far as we can go to our end range and maybe even above it. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold 10. And range, push up, hold as high as you can possibly. As you can see, my hand is shaking because I'm really working hard in that shoulder joint. And five, four, three, two, one, block goes away, palm onto the floor. And now we're going to stretch. Move onto your side. Make sure you're actually pressing the shoulder into the floor. Okay, I'm going to show this from the front so you can see. I'm not trying to lift up my shoulder from the floor. So I'm moving to the side and I'm helping with this hand, okay? With the other hand, it's pushing. Fingers open, all your finger pillows are into the floor. I'm starting to push. Now I moved onto my side and I actually feel that my shoulder is into the floor and I wanna go deeper. If you can do this, you can open up the knee here and try to touch the floor with your foot if it's possible you can lift it higher up just make sure your shoulder is not lifting up very high from the floor it can be lifted slightly but not too much and help pushing with the other hand even more and you will feel the stretch in your chest because if you feel just your shoulder it means you didn't go well enough into this position you have to feel that you're stretching also your backs <sighs> keep breathing and we're going back and we're switching the other hand 90 degree position okay fingers open palm is nice and straight place your hand down if needed to relax your neck and we go one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up as high as you can and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we hold for 10 seconds as high as you can. Keep breathing. And five, four, three, two, one and place the hand down move on to your side and if you want to go deeper only then you open up your knee press your knee out the more you're going to press your knee out 
the more you're gonna feel the stretch. You can push with the other hand. Make sure all your finger pillows are into the floor. Exhale, enjoy the stretch. Great, this is the four, first important part which you always need to cool down after your workout. The next thing is your trapezius muscle. I have gathered some of the exercises and right now one of my favorite exercises to actually stretch your trapezius muscle is on your feet, make sure your hands are hip wide, bend your knees, cross your hands and reach your legs and from here Tuck in your chin, you can go deeper through exhale. Inhale, and you can try to straighten your knees. Hold, and then slightly bend. Again, through exhale, straighten your knees. Hold, and then bend. And now we're switching hands. Bend your knees, make sure your neck is relaxed here, inhale, exhale, stretch, hold, going back, inhale, exhale, stretch, hold, relax, relax your neck, and then you're going to go down and sit. Make sure you're sitting on your butt bones. So the meat of your glutes, of your butt, you have to take it out a little bit so you feel nice and comfortable. And from here, extend one hand so you make sure that your shoulder is depressed, okay? It's down. And we're gonna reach and stretch. It's like someone is pulling this hand away from you and then you stretch. Here, nothing is working. You wanna, mm, away from you and then you start to stretch and you can feel the movement is slightly smaller than you usually probably do you can also make sure you can also put your hand underneath under not underneath behind your back in the case that you're still depressing your shoulder okay and make sure and just feel whatever feels better for you that is what you do now from here you can move down you can also extend And we switch, hand away, and stretch, or behind your back, and down. Make sure you're not arching your lower back, your pelvis is neutral, your back is straight, and with your both hands, elbows closed, don't push your head down. You move your head down slightly and enjoy a comfortable stretch. Okay, now close your throat. Okay, close and let's stretch the neck flexors. So you're not trying to press on your neck here. You're trying to open up here. There is a difference and you will probably feel it. You have to feel your neck flexors stretching. So your neck is going up and when you close your throat, like close your feet, you will feel the stretch in your neck flexors. And from here, half circle, one shoulder, and the other one. And to the center, relax. Let's stretch the side. Inhale, exhale. Look up if needed. Do not lift your butt bone from the floor, okay? It's still into the floor and from here, inhale, exhale. And push from that hand that it's onto the floor. And this one is trying to reach the floor and you will enjoy a nice, good stretch in your lat. Open up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Nice, relax, and from here we want to relax now our lower back as well, so we have to stretch out a little bit of glutes. So we're going to take our leg 90 degree position. There are, very, there are variations for this exercise. You can try to press your 
chest closer to your leg just make sure you're actually trying to press the knee out if this is too difficult for you, you can place the hands behind and stretch here. Make sure your foot is flexed. And we switch the other one. Okay, breathe. And you can hold these positions for 30 seconds, a minute. Depends how much time you have to cool down, but at least 30 seconds would be really nice. Great. And now we're going to relax our lower back. You go into your garland pose. Now let your hips fall in. Round, round and relax. And just swing one side to the other. And while you're doing this, breathe in your stomach to relax your diaphragm. And it feels like your stomach is becoming a big balloon. Deep and long exhales. From here, lifting up, your legs go hip wide, bend your knees, reach your elbows and just swing, relax. Everything that is there to relax. You can go forward and back. Just make sure your knees are not straight, okay? If they are straight, your legs are stretching and your back is not relaxing. We want to relax our back, so you need to bend your legs. And from here, relax. Shake it out. And starting with your tailbone, roll up, bone by bones you can actually feel your spine is lengthening okay let's inhale stretch exhale going down roll up you can shake it out while you're rolling up rolling up if you want one more deep inhale exhale roll up. Place your shoulders back in the place. Make sure you're not arching your lower back. Back is straight. You're not over tucking. It's just a nice neutral position. Your posture should be in order after every workout. Thank you guys for trying out this cool down. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it's gonna help your workouts. You can use it after each and every workout you're doing, okay? Just make sure you're actually cooling down okay and thank you again for visiting my channel train your both sides as usual like and subscribe you can write comments in the comment section and of course have a wonderful day